Greetings brothers and sisters. Today I am going to share with you from the Gospel of Mark chapter 4 verses 1 and follows for the third Wednesday of Ordinary Time. It is the story about the parable of the seeds. Jesus gave an ordinary parable of a farmer scattering seeds on various soils or types of soil and expected them to grow. Only the one are the seeds that fell on rich soil that produces some in abundance, some less, but it produced. Today, I would like to share with you not on all aspects of the parable, but to focus specifically on the seeds that fell on the edge of the path. Now, all seeds that are scattered are expected to grow. There are many of us who find ourselves on the path. What is that path? The path is the aspect of life or the way of life that each Christian or each person is called to follow. Regardless of how the path is, we are asked or we are called to follow. So Jesus followed the way, Jesus followed a particular pattern or way of life, and he calls each of us, regardless of our circumstances in life, to follow that path. So our path today might be the edge. I am speaking of that area of our lives where we find it very difficult to cope. We are ready to give up because of the circumstances around us. I think, for instance, of mothers who find it difficult to pay their children fees or to feed their children, find it difficult to make ends meet. I think of the fathers who find it very difficult to cope with a difficult child. I think of you in your circumstance. I think of my own circumstances when I find difficulties and unable to cope. I am on the edge. You are on the edge. While we are on the edge, God comes to us. He comes to us by scattering the seed of hope that even on the edge, we can produce. We can make what happens in the circumstances of our lives become rich soil so that we can produce and we can bear fruit that will last. Jesus calls each of us, regardless of the circumstances we find ourselves in, to trust him, to trust in his mercy, to trust in his grace, so that we may follow, follow the path that he is calling us to, that path of righteousness, to know him now in our circumstances and know him after in the life with him in heaven. Thank you.